Alright, hello everybody. So today I'm gonna be doing uh six or episode six of all the unique weapons in Borderlands 2.5. And today we've got snipers and snipers in this mod they're they're very cool. I, I love the snipers in this mod. And there's no bandit snipers, so we're just gonna get started with doll. So first you've got the quick bolt and you see increased damage, increased fire rate, increased reload speed, decreased mag size. Um so you see when I hit fire it's got like Jacob's level of a semi-auto fire rate there. On the ADS, the burst, it shoots out that three round burst very fast. And you see just the sniper rifle critical damage. But it's got almost no recoil, especially when you've got doll parts on it, because doll parts reduce the recoil quite a bit. And I missed every shot. Yeah, so all seven of those were a crit, and it's just very powerful snipers, raw DPS. And you see, when that reload, that's extremely fast, just in general, but especially on a sniper rifle. Now, um, not as good as a quick bolt, but we have the Kilimanjaro. And, uh, this... It, it, I, I like it a lot because it's a Halo reference here, Kilimanjaro and the Combat Evolved, but that doesn't affect stats. So you see, uh, so you can see it's got, I'm pretty sure it's like, yeah, that's increased damage. Um, not as high as a Quick Bolt, but still extremely high damage. And uh, even lower magazine size than a Quick Bolt, but it's got half the fire rate so that's not hugely significant and you see when you hit fire it's a three round burst and when you ads it's full auto it's also got ammo regen you see that down there it's got ammo regen on it but um it does have a bit more re quite a bit more recoil than the quick bolt does um yeah it's very good. I, I don't think it's as good as Quick Bolt, but it's good nonetheless. So next year we have Hyperion, and I'm going to save that one for last. And you see a lot of E-Tech snipers. Yeah, three of the five are E-Tech barreled. But we're going to start with the Lionel, and this... Uh, I forget which... Okay, so I, okay, two of these are actually Lionel, my bad. So there's, there's only four snipers, and... Two of the five, four of them are E-Tech, because I've got two of these here. So this is the Lionel, and it replaces the Longwell. I forgot to do it here just to show that it can come as non-elemental. Um, it's not fire-locked like it is in vanilla, but, uh, yeah. So I do have non-elemental in here. And you see, it most of the great snipers have fire rate of one, so this has extremely high fire rate, better mag size. Yeah, better mag size. Um, extremely high damage, three projectiles per shot. Actually, it's got low damage, but three projectiles per shot makes it have very high damage. Oh, it's got a decreased reload speed. Um, but you see here, it fires arrows, and those arrows explode. So these not only do very high damage, but they have splash damage. And I don't know if that's grenade splash or not, but uh, it has splash damage. And it's just, it just has extremely high damage. It's... And it's also cool, it shoots some Minecraft arrows like the longbow does. But yeah, so that's the Lionel, and then you know, just the fire one there. So this can come as all elements, actually, too. So you can get shot, corrosive slag. But if you see there, on the fire one, it still has explosive splash. So yeah, um, it has explosive splash there regardless of the element. So that's just another reason why I have two of them here. But next here we have the tier. Okay, so this fires lasers right there. Yeah, and then when you ADS, it becomes has decreased damage, but um, it's extremely high fire rate and becomes full auto. And also, it's just absolutely like. I guess that's not the weapon, that's just the fact that it has Hyperion Scope. It's got a 
yeah, hyper gain sight is very high zoom, and I, I find that annoying. I should have put a different sight on these, but it, it's fine. Okay, so that's the tier, and let me buy ammo. Yeah, it also fires E-Tech projectiles like an E-Tech sniper would. And next we have the Shattered Cannon, and you can just see the absolutely insane base damage on this, and 308% crit with a somewhat higher fire rate than most Hyperion snipers, and then a very, very long reload. But also, so Body Shot, 24, 68, and then 201, 59. When you ADS, that crit damage actually goes down uh, to 115, 19. Your base damage doesn't go down, but your crit damage does. So this is, and with its accuracy, more of a hip fire weapon, but you can see just the horribly slow reload on it. Also, when you hold it, you take more damage. So I'm actually going to get out here to a health vendor real quick. So if we hold the tier and we throw a grenade, we go down to 198k from 247k. We hold the shattered cannon, and we go down to 13k. You take about 50% more. Or, so that's double. You take double damage while you're holding this. So it's got just ridiculously high stopping power. It does insane amounts of damage. But you've got that issue of taking double damage while you're while holding it. Um, so I don't know if that justifies the damage. Uh, you, you'll have to test that for yourselves. I I don't really know, but um, that's that's the shattered cannon. Now the one I saved here, this is the headbanger. So it's got lower damage than these. Um. It's got higher damage than that, but lower damage than these two. And, um, it's a pearl, which is really cool. Also has no sight. And this weapon can spawn with two accessories. I don't have two on this. I just have the one blade just to keep it fair, but it can spawn with two accessories. And you see it fires those E-Tech laser projectiles. As you see, 1773. And when you score a crit, you see we get the stacking effect down here. So it's a 3 right there, and that stacking effect increases your crit by quite a bit, but it decreases your base damage. You see, 1108 there, and let me clear those. So 1773 is what it normally did. And then with one stack, it does 160k, or 1612, whatever, but um, uh, yeah, so... Sworn crits because you stack, each stack increases your crit, decreases your base damage. Now when you ADS, which you probably saw it there, you fire the entire magazine instantly. This will get you a ridiculous amount of shots on it. 61 mil 435 million damage. This, this weapon is crazy. It absolutely deserves to be a pearlescent. So you see 32 stacks there. Try and see a damage number there. Yeah. 533 million. Oops. Probably gonna lose my stacks now. But yeah, um So with just a magazine size of eight, you're gonna need eight stacks every time you do this. And I missed. That looks like we're going to be stuck at 24, but um, th this thing just does absolutely insane damage. It doesn't look like I can get much higher than 32 with this version. Now, this is without any buffs. You can buff your damage, your fire rate, your magazine size. So the big thing here with buffing on this weapon, you, you kind of want to get um, parts or skills or like relics and whatnot that increase your magazine size and increase your reload speed. That'll let you build your stacks insanely high. Now I'm going to see just how high I can get if I... So, um, I'm not sure what quite happened there, but now we're at 96 stacks. So, 
645 million. Now we score a body shot, 216k. So once you start getting those high stacks, if you miss your crit, you're not going to be doing any damage really at all. Just 200k damage. That's that's nothing at level 80. But um, so maximize reload speed, maximize your mag size on this, and it's absolutely broken. But yeah, on to Jacobs, and there is. A ton of these. There's a ton of Jacob snipers. So let's start with the babe. Or I'm gonna I'm gonna equip all these first, and then we'll start with that one. Oh come on. Okay. So first up here is the babe, and you see it's got slow reload, low mag size, low fire rate, and seemingly low base damage. And that base damage is not false so if we stand up here okay i need a damage number show up 561 510 and that that's kind of just a non-elemental but as you see this is 100 this is 1 million it doesn't do 1 million because non-elemental gets a bonus against uh flesh which i'm not sure why but it does now you can see i stand back here that is noticeably higher than the 560k we just saw i stand back here 2.2 million. I stand all the way back here. 5 million. So, like the Godfinger, it increases its damage the further you are away. Now, unlike the Godfinger, it increases its damage to a much, much higher amount than the Godfinger. It... And you see, it landed two hits there. Um, that's because how this ability actually works is the projectile split. And I think it splits up to 14 times. No, it, it's got to be much higher than 14 times, but I'm not totally sure. Now, I'm not... So, that leads it to once in a while. You see, it has two projectiles there. And that's equal to about 13 projectiles there. So, that 14 might actually be accurate, like I said. But you see, the bullet has drop on it. And I, okay, so I actually did a bug. So the bug with the morning star, that same thing happens with the headbanger, and I actually did that. So that is going to skew the damage on the rest of these. So I'm going to save clip real quick and reset that. Sorry about that. So yeah, you can see the bullet has dropped. But if you score a crit, so that had two projectiles there. Yeah, so 6422 on a crit. Um, that's normal Jacob Sniper crit. Now, we aim a little above his head. Not that high. 25 million damage on a crit there. Not anywhere near the headbanger, but that's, that's very high damage. Especially coming from a gun that has base damage this low. Yeah, that's the babe. So next here is the Artemis. And, um, so you see a curse in there. The gods will be on your side as long as you look out for them. So it's got very slow fire rate, uh, very slow reload. Or, actually, no, it's got a faster reload. Ignore me. It's got, alright. So faster reload than most Jacob snipers. And you see the, it's actually pretty standard for Jacob sniper base damage. When you see my ADS, like the Sanguine, you lose health. And now see right there, 1396, 193.14. So yeah, 193.14. So it doesn't really gain anything when you ADS like the uh, um, like the Sanguine does. However, you do, you move much faster when you're ADSing with this gun than you do with like, say this. Yeah, you move faster while you ADS. Which is kind of cool, but um, all in all, this weapon isn't uh, that great in its standard form, but uh, there's you can make it pretty good. Next up, we have the Bessie, which is ridiculous. You see that very low base damage, so 12 projectiles, um, and then two armor per shot, fire rate of 1.1. So it's got higher fire rate than this one did, and actually, all of these have. 
but still lower than most Jacob snipers would have. High for a bolt action, though. That's pretty high fire rate for a bolt action sniper. So now, you see when you fire it, it's got that awful recoil as well, but that uh, ooh, 12 projectile spread. This is more like a shotgun, just with the very high crit bonus. Yeah, so you can see the damage there is ridiculous. But, um, it doesn't have sniper accuracy. It doesn't feel like a sniper in reality. It feels more like a shotgun. So make sure we have the Kukri, which has... Uh, that's actually decreased crit damage compared to regular Jacobs, I think. So, 1830. 1098. Okay, so that's actually normal critical hit damage. I'm not quite sure why it displays it on the card there, but it does. We see 400% melee damage. Um, that, that's a unique property of this. Uh, this barrel also changes, by the way. I should mention that. Barrel here can change, because the blade is a unique accessory on this. Yeah. 7d90 on that, whereas you're getting 2127 on a normal bladed weapon. Other than that, it's just, a kind of a powerful sniper rifle. Yeah, you see high base damage, and I, I still don't know why that crit damage is played on card, but it is. Now, we've got more here. There are so many Jacob snipers. Okay, so, first thing here is the Haxor, which it's a bolt action with almost four shots a second. That's very high. And it's also got E-Tech Barrel, which is, yeah, see, it's a two-round burst. And it fires lasers. So that's the Haxor. Um, not really anything special about it. It's just kind of a cool weapon. Yeah, other than being two round bursts, the lasers doesn't have any like hidden effects or anything. But yeah. So now, a uh, slightly more interesting one is the uh, scavenger here. In addition to doing explosive damage, it yeah. So splash damage there. And then, you see when you shoot, it's going to shoot this tiny little projectile, and it does self-damage. I did not know that. So, yeah, so, when you shoot, uh, where is this projectile? I can't. I'm trying to... Yeah, I don't think there actually is a projectile that it spawns in. It just kind of plants like an invisible grenade there almost. And also has splash damage there. But And that's grenade splash actually. Alright, well. So that is not grenade splash. Uh, that is grenade splash though. So, see on a crit. Um, that does not increase in damage. But... That 1466, that is not grenade splash damage. That 2750 is grenade splash. That's uh, notable. Now, the last one here is the Hawkeye, which has very, very high critical hit damage. So he's doing 11 times damage almost. I actually think higher than 11 times damage. And then, um,. While you're holding this, or while you're ADSing, you take increased damage. And you see the fire right here. It's higher than the rest of them that we've been using. Now when you ADS, fire rate gets even higher. And you, you can see that there. So, it has also extremely low recoil. This doesn't even have doll parts on it. This is all Jacob's parts without a stability accessory. And Jacob's parts have the most recoil. So with like dollar Hyperion parts, this thing will be an absolute laser beam. And you see when ADS, the fire rate gets extremely high. But yeah, so that's all the Jacob snipers. And we have not a lot next. We actually have two pearls here. But 
the distribution of pearls has always felt weird to me. Like, you see, you got two Malawan snipers. And there's also, I think, two Malawan pistols as well. What did I just do? I thought there was one more Malawan sniper here. Okay, I guess I was wrong. But yeah, um, yeah, again, the distribution of pearls always felt weird. You got the one Hyperion, one Jacobs, and then nothing else, and there's two Malawan. I don't know. But so first here, we've got the Maelstrom, which has increased damage. That's kind of misleading. You'll see why. Um, increased dot chance. Guaranteed dot chance, actually, with Malawan parts, anyway. Increased dot damage. And then, uh, very slow fire rate. So what this does is, when you shoot, it's gonna put this, like, cloud here that Tesla's the enemy. And that... You don't actually fire a projectile with this weapon. So, when I shoot them, you're never going to see that 2 million damage on card, which is kind of disappointing, but, um... Nonetheless, this is an amazing weapon for dot builds. Yeah, so that's the Maelstrom. And I actually got to go outside for this next one here. Because it will hit the ceiling in there. But uh, it's the Toto. So uh, it doesn't say it on card, but... The Maelstrom does not have two arrow per shot. Uh, I thought it did. It does not. Yeah, the Toto here. Um, very low damage. I think it's fiery is, yeah, fiery is the same. Um, dot chance is actually lower than these, but still high, and then the dot damage is lower as well, but that's not what's special about it. What's special is you're going to shoot that, that's going to go up and rain down projectiles. And I think it's for about five seconds. Yeah, so, or three seconds. So, from the time your shot lands to the time it, uh, stops raining down projectiles, it's going to be about three seconds. As you can see, it hits the ceiling in here, so it's not really a good test. But, um, if you shoot the enemy, it's going to hit them twice. That projectile, as it floats up, pierces enemies, and, uh, so it'll hit them a second time. So you can see two damage numbers there when I crit. Uh, this also does have splash damage, I think. Let me go to the dot. Yeah, so you see splash damage there. Um, but with boar, this... So how boar works is when the projectile hits an enemy, it's going to delete the original one and spawn a second one that keeps flying. That's how boar works. And this gun says it has built-in piercing. Works that same way. So when you combine it with boar, it's going to spawn two of them. So, if, with boar, if you shoot the enemy, that second projectile is going to hit them, right? And it's going to pierce twice, basically, with boar. So, you're going to get two of those projectiles, one of which has increased damage, because that's what boar does. And boar is still in this mod, it's just changed a little bit. But yeah, so, this works very well with boar. And the same thing with, uh, like, chain reaction, which is right here, um... When the bullet bounces, it's going to bounce twice. So it's going to basically copy the projectile. And then the projectiles that it rains down... Let me go back outside. So this projectile, if it hits an enemy, can ricochet. The original shot, if it hits an enemy, can ricochet. And then all of those that it drops down can ricochet. So this does crazy things with chain reaction. So if that original bullet... The one that comes out of gun, not this floating one here, so not this, but the gun that landed, or the bullet that landed here. If that reflects, it's going to spawn this when it hits, and it's going to shoot off, hit another enemy, and when that happens, it will spawn another one of these. And then, if this hits an enemy, and reflects, it's going to continue floating up, and then shoot the second one off, which will cause it to basically shoot projectiles in whatever direction it bounced in. And, um, it kind of shows ridiculous things. So, like, if there's an enemy here and an enemy here, and I shoot this one, and this floating projectile hits this enemy here, and then bounces and hits that enemy, it's going to shoot the these raining projectiles, it's going to shoot them sideways. So, um, 
this replaces the Pimpernel and becomes a pearlescent and is 10 times crazier than the Pimpernel, which is already crazy. And uh, now it is 2 armor per shot. That's about the only downside I can think of, but absolutely worth it with a gun like this. Also, chain reaction, it's 9% per level, so at 6 points, you're getting a 99% chance to ricochet, which almost guaranteed. So yeah, that's the Toto. And I forgot to mention, Maelstrom, I'll be shock. Uh, and I think... The Toto is not elemental lock. The Dragon's Ire, which we're going to talk about next, this is fire locked. Disintegrator, I don't think it's elemental locked. I could be wrong, though. Okay, so the Dragon's Ire here has very high base damage. Um, not as high as Maelstrom, but Maelstrom's base damage doesn't actually mean anything. So yeah, uh, higher dot damage, not as high as Maelstrom, but higher, still increased. And then um, high dot chance and pretty high damage. And then when you shoot it, that's not the... Right, there it is. It, it shoots an arrow, uh, like the Lionel or the Longbow. And I've never actually seen the texture on these arrows, like, fully, but... Yeah, so, it shoots the Minecraft arrows, which is very cool. But then it, um, also has an insanely large splash radius and increased splash damage. And unlike most Malon snipers, this is considered grenade splash damage. Also, yeah, so when you shoot them, it puts in those explosive needles. Uh, similar to, like, the, um, descent not the disintegrant, the defibrillator, which I covered in a lot later, or an earlier episode. But, yeah, um, so, you see the hit there is 4.6 million. The splash damage here is 2 million. So, this is 80% splash damage on this. That is higher than, uh, other Malons. So, like, this one here, you see the body shot there is... That's a bad one to show it with. Um, so I don't think I have a normal Malon sniper. I should have brought a normal Malon sniper to test this. But he has one, so it's fine. Alright, so let's grab that real quick. Just to show this off. So this one on a body shot does 628, and then it's splash damage. It's only 216, so the splash damage here is... 50% on a regular Malon Sniper, whereas the Dragon's Ire, it's 80%. And it's Grenade Splash. Which means... So, weapons have Splash Damage that is not Grenade Splash. So, and it's not... If it's not Rocket Splash and it's not Grenade Splash, it gets Reaper Bonus. If it is Grenade or Rocket Splash, it does not get Reaper. It gets Grenade or Rocket, depending on what it is. So this does not get reaper but it does get grenade damage boost from axton or krieg which have a lot of those i think salvador has one too what just happened okay so yeah, that's the dragon's ire now we've got the disintegrator here which i'm gonna compare it to dragon's ire because they're very similar Again, guaranteed dot chance, higher dot damage, but less mag and less damage, and that accuracy is pretty negligible. Now, when you... As far as I know, this one doesn't have anything special about the bullets, initially. So now, I think it might just have, like, very good dot damage. Okay, hold up. What was that projectile that shot off there? Okay, I haven't used this weapon much, so I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to figure out what this weapon does. Let me get rid of the dot. So yeah, I think it's shooting something up right there. Yeah, it definitely is. It's definitely shooting some sort of second projectile. Um, not exactly sure what that is. I haven't used this weapon enough to know. But, uh, yeah, that's the disintegrator. I cannot remember what sniper that replaces, though. Um, hold on. I'm gonna go see if 
my sheet over here has anything. Yeah, so I've got the sheet right here, which kind of has info about all these weapons. Uh, but I'm just checking this real quick, see if the um, disintegrator has anything about it. Okay, this is to replace the share meter. Okay, it's got increased crit damage as well, but I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, that, that, that definitely has increased crit damage. But I'm not, I, I'm, I'm not totally sure what that, uh, bonus projectile is. I'll, I'll have to figure that out. Now, next we have Vladoff. And these are, uh, not as interesting as the rest of these, but they're still, they're still cool. So, the Bloodwing here, um... See, it's got pretty high base damage, and then the fire rate's actually pretty low for a Vladoff weapon, especially all Vladoff parts here. It's got very low fire rate, but uh, very high crit damage. And then you see when it fires, it fires three projectiles. It's kind of like a cheap Sandhawk almost. It fires like exactly like the Sandhawk. So yeah, you can see it's actually got four projectiles, not three like you see there. I don't know if you can tell that there, but there is four projectiles on it. And you can see that by the damage there. It's 26, 67, where it should be doing. Actually, no, it is three projectiles. Never mind, I'm wrong. It is three projectiles. I, I did my math incorrectly there. Okay, so you see uh, that was two damage numbers. Yeah, so 26, 67, then on the crit. Those bonus pelts did not hit the crit. Yeah, so 9186 on a crit, which that was actually only two of the hits. So this is very high crit damage. Now, the laser carbine here, uh, it's an E-Tech. It's got three projectiles per shot, and then um, extremely high fire rate. And then, like any E-Tech Vladoff, it uh, fires his bouncy lasers. But unlike most Vladoff E-Techs, it's... Um, only one ammo per shot. But yeah, so that's... Uh, this is also always elemental. Uh, it's not fire lock, but it does always have an element on it. Well, um, that's every sniper rifle in the mod. Um, thanks for watching this one here. And next episode will be the final one. For guns, anyway. I, I don't know if I'm going to do shields or not. But this is the final episode for guns. Or... Er, Next episode's final episode for guys, and that's going to be the 12 hybrids, because hybrids are a thing in this mod. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.